Hosni Mubarak was thrust onto the international stage in October of 1981. He was mostly unhurt, despite the fact that he sat next to then-President Anwar Sadat as he was gunned down in a hail of bullets. Seven days later, Mubarak was Egypt's president, a position he would hold for nearly 30 years. Mubarak rose to prominence in the Air Force, becoming vice president in 1975. Throughout his tenure, he was America's closest ally in the Arab world, but his continued crackdown on the Islamic opposition nearly brought him the same fate as Sadat. In 1995, he survived an assassination attempt in Ethiopia. Ten years later, Mubarak won Egypt's first ever presidential election, a move nearly guaranteed after key opponents were jailed. But he never had the charisma of his two predecessors, Sadat and Gamal Abdel Nasser. Under his rule, Egyptians faced economic stagnation, corruption, and a battle against Islamic militancy at the expense of personal freedoms. As the years went by, Mubarak became increasingly aloof he appeared to be grooming his son to replace him. That fueled more resentment of the political regime. And in the end, it was the dissolution of faith in Mubarak that brought his downfall, as thousands upon thousands of Egyptians took to the streets for days, calling for his ouster. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.